Hey guys, my name's Arm and welcome back. This week I'm breaking down the Saber effect as requested. Let's get started. Open After Effects and load your light saber footage. For this effect, you will need the free saber plugin from Video Copilot website. The link to this effect is in the description below. Once you've installed this, right click on the comp and select new solid. It doesn't matter what color you're going to choose, just hit OK. From here, go to the effects panel and search for Saber. Drag and drop this onto the solid. This effect already comes loaded with a ton of presets and something worth having a look through. But here, I'm going to choose the default and use the picker tool to change it to blue. I'm going to increase the intensity by 70% then in Flickr, set it to an even 100. This will, as it mentions in the name, will flicker the saber light, bringing it alive. Open the glow settings and change the glow one size to 40. Then go down and open motion blur and bring down the blur multiplier to 0.50. This will bring in motion blur for the saber when it moves. It's quite strong, so I've brought it down. And finally, Go back up to custom core and change the start roundness to 1.1. Okay, now we're ready to animate the saber. Click on the stopwatch for the core start and end and move it to each end of the saber and start animating it every few frames. I'm only going to do this for 20 seconds. I'm also only going to move five frames at a time and go back at the end if, I, if it doesn't cover the saber completely. Tip here, it may take a lot out of your computer, so just take down the quality to a quarter so it won't slow your work down. One thing I missed in the settings to also change the end round to match the start roundness to 1.1 and the core softness to 1.7. Okay, to really sell this effect, you'll need a reflection for the lightsaber. Originally, I created a new solid and chose the color of the lightsaber, then created a mask and changed the opacity. However, this didn't really work that well. So, create a new solid again and go to the effects panel and type tint. Drag and drop this onto the new solid and use the picker tool for the white color to select the color of the lightsaber. Using the mask, Increase the feather to give it a nice fall off. Then change the opacity of the mask. Click on the stopwatch for both the path and the opacity and follow the saber through the clip, making it disappear when it's not needed. And you're done! As always, thanks for everything guys, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.